welcome to Zantrano Music. This is titled The True Gospel. Um, the True Gospel is about forgiveness. It's about repentance. It's about looking within. And it's about forgiving the parents next, underneath the most high. So in this life, don't look at all the confusion. Don't look at the 7 billion people and become confused. Look at the truth and realize that without your two parents, who are the only two human beings on the earth that matter as far as your pain, you know, on earth, uh, where your pain or resentment, your anger comes from, is from the parents. If you can forgive your parents, you can't go forward. And also, until and really it starts with self, as I said, you can't go forward in the light if you don't humble yourself and repent and know that you, you're wrong. Because the ego, the pride, is the root of everything. And so you all think you're right. And we live in a society, as it says, in second and uh, you know the book of Timothy, talk about you know uh, having a form of godliness but denying his power. What does that mean? It means that you have an ego. You know everything. You got the answers. You know everything. You want to tell everybody what to do. And, um, you know, you're not going to humble yourself. But that's the type of world that we live in today. What we need to do as self uh, beings um, is that we have to know that we say that we're wrong first. Know that we're wrong. Repent of that. John the Baptist spoke of the repentance. Paul then said doing it daily. So that's why we know that we have to live each day probably forgiving and maybe repenting. Hopefully you'll get to a point where you don't have to repent every day. You know, hopefully you get to a point. Well, I don't think the forgiveness ever stops. I think you should always forgive every single day because people will always hurt you. So you have to go down that path. But know that that pride and creates the anger. And it's the unrighteous anger. We're not talking about righteous anger because Christ had righteous anger when he was in the temple. He has righteousness. He is righteous. So his, his anger was injustice and righteousness. It's truth. It's not an evil. He didn't get angry and kill anybody, did he? He is a righteous man. He is a righteous being. He is Elohim, our power, the one and only God. You understand? But we know that Satan is coming and he's going to persecute the saints. And he's going to put them to death. That's how you know who Satan is too. He may do the wonders, but he's not Christ. He'll never um, show that love. So the true gospel, look within. Forgive, uh, forgive yourself. Repent of your sin. Repent of yourself. Lose the ego. You don't know everything. You're not a god. You're a little god. You're, you're under the most high. And you're also under your parents. Respect your parents and forgive them too. Then you can start after doing that process from you to your parents. After you complete those processes and you can truth, absolute truth of truth seeking inside you, now you can get to God. Now you can get to the heavenly realm. Now you can walk in the true light. This is the gospel. This is the truth. People search without all the time. They just go to different countries, they travel. I'm trying to find the answers to life. But you can't find the answer to life unless you go back into within your heart and think about the implications of what your parents have done to you. It's crazy how there's 7 billion people, but none of those people brought you here. Only two people brought you here. It's your parents. So you have your parents to look up to and to say, do I forgive them? What have they done? What's the resentment? What do I hold? Where's my anger? Where's my anxiety coming from? I had anxiety. I had to deal with that. I forgive my father. I forgive my mother. You understand? I've went down that path. That's why I'm teaching this now. And I'm going to continue to go down the path. I'm not going to stop. It's not today. Tomorrow I'm going to do tomorrow too. The next day, the next week, the next month, the next year. It continues. The next decade. If, you know, God willing. So, this is the true gospel. Part one, hopefully I'll continue later. Um, repentance. Humble yourself. Forgive. Repentance, forgiveness. Very key. You're, it's three people in this life and on the earthly scale you have to forgive and repent. It's you, it's your mom, and your dad. That's it. After you can get down the process really down, you continue, you'll get to the God level. 
So stop trying to talk about God and try to get to a high level until you, ha- you haven't even forgiven your own mom or your dad. But you're trying to talk about God. Stop it. Stop it. Stop playing games. You're fooling yourself. You're wasting your time. You still got anger in your heart. You still got malice. You still envy. You still jealous. You still are anxious. It's fearful. You're a coward now. See? We need to get right with self and then get right with our parents. And when we do that, now we can reach that next level. All praise to the Most High. Shalom, shalom. Um, hey Amen. This is the real gospel. And not many people are preaching it. And the truth is, it's a life changer. This is some real stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, that general music, uh, again, hopefully I'll continue this uh, topic. It's food for your mind, food for your thought, food for your being. We're trying to be healthy. We're trying to live life like right. Then general music is about living in the light, not living in the darkness. I'm trying my best to put great content um, on this channel and, um, and, and spread the truth because everybody needs this. Um, this is not a secret. You know, just you know, hold on. No, no, no we got to spread the right message, but start with self. If you're not at that level, don't preach. If you're not at the, you know, you didn't forgive yourself, you, didn't, you know, you still got that stuff inside your heart, get rid of that first. Once you get rid of that, now you can start talking. Now you can start um, dealing with people on, on a higher level, a walk in that light. We're going to come against adversity because everybody's dealing with this. You know, a lot of people, most of the, when people say the world's crazy, it's because every human being didn't forgive the parent or they didn't look inside themselves. That's the problem with the world. If everybody did this, that would, we would live in a perfect world. And God probably, he, he would have already came back. He would have already been with us because we would have already all got right and forgave and uh, repented. This is what needs to be preached. The true gospel, admit, admit, which means the truth. And, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shalom, shalom. Zentra music. Stay tuned. Please subscribe. Um, as we continue along in this beautiful life. Because it is a beautiful life. And we must reach our, uh, our, our intended destiny by the power of the Most High. So peace, blessings, and love. Stay tuned. Zentra music. Shalom.